Hey guys, so I'm just going to kind of wing this. I just want to go over these literary forms more in detail. Um, each one, I'll make a video for each one. So, first I want to talk about similes. These should be pretty easy to understand and to recognize. A simile involves an explicit comparison of two unlike things using the words as or like. So those are the keywords to look for for a simile, as or like. Isaiah 118, And the daughter of Zion is left as a cottage in a vineyard, as a lodge in a garden of cucumbers, as a besieged city. And I don't know what the context of these are, but I'm going to try to kind of expand on the interpretation of these, maybe. I don't know. I looked up besiege, and it, it sounds like an army kind of is encamped about. So, I don't know. Uh, it says, a cottage and a vineyard as a lodge and a garden of cucumbers. So I'm thinking it's kind of like encamped about. You get the image of a garden of cucumbers around a lodge or vines around a cottage. Um, so, I don't know. It's about ready to be attacked, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, let's keep going. Isaiah 53, 6. All we like sheep have gone astray. <clears throat> you know, this means, you know, going away from the Lord's commandments, not following the way of the Lord, going, doing what's right in their own eyes. Um, you know, I'm guessing the nation of Israel are innocent and yeah, because they were like God's, they're God's chosen people. They were going astray. Um, Malachi 3.2 He is like a refiner's fire and like a fuller's soap. A fuller's soap I wasn't so sure about, but um, it seems like this is talking about like cleansing, you know, getting rid of the impurities. Purifying, refiner's fire, fuller's soap. Matthew twenty four twenty seven. For as the lightning cometh out of the east, and shineth even unto the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. So I'm not sure exactly about this one, but I think that <clears throat> it's basically saying that, you know, everyone's going to see it. It's going to be very known. Uh not going to be able to miss this when the when the when the Lord Jesus Christ comes in the second advent um, here we got Luke 10:3 behold I send you forth as lambs among wolves so you know he's saying you know there's going to be persecution people that are going to react very violently towards you. Okay, so I'm going to check out these extra ones that are listed on here. Isaiah 28 or 29 8. We'll check out that one first then. Isaiah Oh yeah, I also want to mention that the a parable is an extended simile. And I I saw that there's some debate on like Luke 13 21 whether this is a simile or a parable because it's so short it is like heaven which a woman took and hid in three measures of meal till the whole was leavened the parable of the leaven well some debate whether it's just a simile or actually is a parable which doesn't matter so much but it's just interesting um, so a parable is an extended simile so a lot of the um, parables you know the kingdom of heaven is like and then he goes on to tell a story that's um, that's a parable and it, the parables use like cult, cultural um, like references to things in the culture or the time period um, so it's under it's important to understand those things those cultures so we can interpret what is actually trying to be said here because things can change our modern times you know we don't think 
some of the, we don't understand or think some of the same ways that they did when it was written. Um, so let's see. It was Isaiah twenty nine eight. Okay. Isaiah twenty nine eight. For some reason that didn't show up. Oh, I guess it's clicked on the New Testament. Isaiah twenty nine eight. It shall be even as when an hungry man dreameth, and behold, he eateth, but he awaketh, and his soul is empty, or as when a thirsty man dreameth, and behold, he drinketh, but he awaketh, and behold, he is faint, and his soul hath appetite, so shall the multitude of all the nations be that fight against Mount Zion. Okay, so here's the as, as or like. It shall be even as. So it's saying when nations fight against Zion, it'll be like this. A hungry man that dreameth and eateth, but when he awake, his soul is empty. Um, so I don't know. They think that they're going to have some kind of advantage, but really um, they're not. So, <laughs> I guess that's a way to look at it. Um, Isaiah 55, 10, and 11. Isaiah 55, 10, and 11. Okay. Oops. For as the rain cometh down, and the snow from heaven, and returneth not thither, but watereth the earth, and maketh it bring forth in bud, that it may give seed to the sower, and bread to the eater, so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. So we got the as here for as. So this is like the Lord sending out his word. It will not go void. It will accomplish what he pleases. Um, just like snow from heaven. I'm trying to not let it the water the earth. You know, and this seems kind of like some comparison to the parable of the sower. Because um, it's talking about sowing seeds and God's word. Um, you know, so it's saying, you know, it's like a blessing and it's going to... basically bring blessing on the person who hears it and receives it and also bring back blessing for the Lord himself so Jeremiah 23 29 is not my word like a fire saith the Lord and like a hammer that breaketh the rock in pieces Okay, here's the like. His word is like a fire, also like a hammer that breaketh the rock in pieces. Um, you know, the fire, I don't know. Consuming could be in the fact of like the refiner's fire where it purifies and cleanses, or it could be like a destructive fire. Um, hammer that breaketh the rock in pieces. That sounds like destructive. Um, so, I'll keep going. Matthew 23, 37. Matthew 23, 37. Matthew 
<clears throat> o Jerusalem, Jerusalem, thou that killest the prophets, and stonest them which are sent unto thee, how oft, often would I have gathered thy children together, even as a hen gathereth her chickens under her wings, and ye would not. <clears throat> so, here's the as, Lord Jesus Christ speaking to Jerusalem, um, those that killed the prophets would have gathered together thy children, even as a hen gathereth her chickens under her wings, and ye would not. So, you know, he would protect their children. Um, I'm not really sure exactly about the really great, the best interpretation for this right now. That's something I'll have to look at more. Okay, 1 Corinthians 13.11. 1 Corinthians 13.11. When I was a child, I, when I was a child, I spake as a child, I understood as a child, I thought as a child, but when I became a man, I put away childish things spake as a child. Here's an as. Understood as a child. Thought as a child. Uh, so... I'm not sure about this one either, really. I know this is the 1 Corinthians 13 where it's talking about charity. And so I know some of the interpretations are like he's talking about gifts and the beginning of the church. Um, you know, they had sign gifts and stuff, but as they matured, um, that they would not be needed anymore. And that would be the childish things they would put away. So... Um, but I'm not completely sure to the interpretation on that one either. I think there's probably multiple interpretations that are pretty common. Um, First Thessalonians 5.2. Oops, didn't mean to do that. First Thessalonians 5.2. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord cometh, so cometh as a thief in the night. Okay, the day of the Lord as, comes as a thief in the night. Which I would think would mean, you know, without warning, suddenly. Basically, that's, that's about it, I guess. You know, it just sneaks up. So those are all of the simile examples on my website here from this article. And next in a little bit I'll go over metaphor. Whenever I get around to that I suppose. <laughs> so thanks for watching. I hope that you'll continue to study these um, literary forms. Expand your knowledge on this. Um, simile should be pretty easy to recognize. Remember that a parable is an extended simile. Um, so thanks for watching. God bless. Except ye be converted and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven.